today I'm going to show the process of bringing in solid edge uh, assembly files and depart files uh, into an inventor environment using any, te any CAD technology that Autodesk Desk introduced a couple of years ago. So to bring it in, um, just basically file open and you'll notice over here is all the different files. So we can see there's ASM, um, ASM uh, PAR files. And what I just want to show you is how you need to prepare the files uh, when bringing in for AnyCAD. Now, if I just go down one subfolder and I drag these four files over here, uh, let's see what happens when I try and open up the main assembly. It loads up and it brings up this import dialog box. Now, the first thing we can do is we can either reference the file or we can convert the file. Converting the file will break the link between the, the solid edge files and the inventor, um, new inventor component that you've created. Reference files uh, will keep that link between the solid edge and the inventor files so that if the solid edge file does get updated, your inventor file will get updated as well. I'm going to go to load the model and we can bring it in over here. So I'm just going to quickly click on OK over here. Now what you'll notice here is we're going to get some errors Okay, so there's your mirror assembly, the a2.par, 2160, 2160. So it can't find these files, which is actually the files that I copied into that new folder over there. So what can we do with this? Let me go back to my inventor. You can actually see there's the, the files that are missing. So let's just close this down and reopen that up. But now I'm going to put all my files into that one folder. So go into my new folder over here. Go cut and paste. Okay, and then let's go take a look at that assembly again. Open. And this time, let's go to load model. And hit on OK. Now you'll notice there that it actually has brought in those, those links over there for the chain. Okay. So we can see that we've got a much more complete model over here. There is one model over here that, uh, that's, that's not visible. You can see over there I've got my uh, links between that. Okay, so that's, oh no, it is coming through, great. Okay, let's go click on OK. And it brings it into Inventor. Okay, so the only error now that we've got over here is this uh, aba.a2.2160.mtg mirror assembly. Okay, that said, uh, I don't think it's actually in the files that are downloaded so so that's not too much of an issue but you know you can see that everything else has been brought in to this file okay now you will also notice here that it actually tries to bring the hierarchy in as well so it, you know there's you know the part files and then you've got an assembly file over here with your assembly files in here as well or your seal part file so it does try to keep the hierarchy um, of the assembly as it was done in in, in the solid edge okay and then just to save it and then it will go and now convert those into inventor parts and that's how we take a solid edge file or you know any of the other AnyCAD um, file formats that we have uh, SolidWorks Pro E step files and import it using a file link into inventor thank you very much for watching